Hi students, I welcome you all for today's English Madhuap class. Students, in our last class we discussed about the prepositions of place. And today we are going to discuss about the prepositions of time. So let us start our class. Prepositions of time. So what is a preposition of time? Okay. A preposition of time is a preposition that allows you to discuss a specific time period such as a date on the calendar, one of the days of the week or the actual time something takes place. So students, a uh, preposition of time that tells us about the specific time or period such as a date on the calendar or one of the days of the week or the actual time something takes place. Now let us know which prepositions are called as the preposition of time. Yes, at, in, on, for, since, by, uh, students this is from, to, till, until, between, during, after and before. Next. Preposition of time, at. So, at is used with exact point of time. Yes, you have already read in the prepositions of place. For exact location, exact place, we are using that preposition at. In this case also, at is used with exact point of time. For example, the bus leaves at 7 o'clock. The bus leaves at 7 o'clock. Students, this is the exact time the bus leaves. That's why we used the preposition at. Next, the train arrives at 5.30 a.m. So, students, the train arrives at 5.30 a.m. When do the train arrive? Yes, the train arrives exactly. This is your the exact time. That's why at preposition is used. Plus, the meeting will start today at 6 p.m. When do the meeting will start? Yes, the meeting will start at 6 p.m. Okay. Next. At is used with period of days. At is used with the period of days. For example, he doesn't like going out at sunset. Students, sunset. Yes, this is a period of days. Or we can say uh, at sunset or at dawn. Yes, these are the periods of days. It is so hot at noon. It is so hot at noon. Next, I am already asleep at midnight. Midnight, it is also the periods of the days or period of the night, the whole night and it is the part or it is the period of the night, midnight. That's why we use at. I see many stars at night. I see many stars at night. So, in the, all these cases, we are discussing about the specific period of days. That's why we use preposition of at. Next, at is used with festivals. Festivals, the Sarah, Diwali or we can say Christmas. So, for specific festivals, we use the preposition at. Take for example, she will go to the temple at the Sahara. She will go to the Goda temple at the Sahara. I will get a new dress at Diwali. They will go to Mumbai at Christmas. So, the Sahara, Diwali, Christmas, all these are the festivals. For specific festivals, yes, these festivals are specific, identified. That's why we are using the preposition at. Next, prepositions of time on. Preposition of time on. On is used with days of the week. What are the days of the week? Yes, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
all these are the days of the week and for that purpose we are using the preposition on take for example we went to the park on monday we went to the park on monday when did you go the park yes you went to the park on monday rahul's birthday is on sunday manish will go to the ground on friday so these are the what yes these are the days of the week and for the days of the week we are using the preposition of time that is on next on is used for specific dates specific dates yes take for example he was born on 1st january yes when is your birthday yes he was born on 1st january students just look at this board 1st january this is the specific date that's why your on preposition is used for specific date purpose we are using the preposition on their marriage anniversary is on 5th march 5th march it is identified means it indicates that particular date next she went to america on 2nd august 2nd august for uh, from the month of august second date second is identified or it refers to the exact date that is the 2nd august okay next on is used with special days special days means what are the special days yes uh, your birthday or your marriage anniversary so for that purpose on is used take for example we gave him a present on his birthday he was giving a party on his marriage anniversary so for this purposes for this special days birthday or marriage anniversary for this special days we are using the preposition of time that is on next on is used with morning afternoon evening etc when they are modified students when they are modified just look at these examples they came here on a hot afternoon okay they came here on a hot afternoon so students yes afternoon this is your the what uh, part of the day but before that there is another word what hot so afternoon is modified by hot yes that's why i am telling you on is used when they are modified with other words yes exactly afternoon is modified the word hot that's why we use the preposition on okay and similarly we went for shopping on a pleasant morning we went for shop we went for shopping on a pleasant morning this is also morning is also modified by the word pleasant that's why your preposition on is used next in in is used with months what are the months yes january february march etc so for example they have a party in january or children will go to school in april so these are the months january february april these are the months and for month purpose or when we are discussing about the months we will use the preposition in next in is used with seasons students what are the seasons yes summer season rainy season spring season for uh, season purpose we are using the in take for example they visited kashmir in summer when did they visit kashmir yes in summer I like to drink coffee in winter. They bought a new raincoat in rainy season. Okay? So all these refer to the seasons. That's why we are using the preposition in. Okay? Next. In is used with years. In is used with years. Yes, take for example, 
सी वॉज बॉर्न इन टू थाउजेंड टू और इंडिया गॉट इट्स और वी कैन से इंडिया इंडिया गॉट हॉर इंडिया गॉट हॉर इंडिपेंडेंस इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सेवन ओके स्टूडेंट्स एज वी यू ऑल नो दैट फॉर इयर पर्पोज we are using the preposition of in next in is used with general times of day general times of day so students uh, or we can say the parts of the day as there are some parts as you know morning evening afternoon and night for those parts we will use the preposition of time that is in take for example he came here in the evening he came here in the evening next we were playing in the morning so students these parts these parts of the day evening morning afternoon or night remember one thing for night purpose we will use at but for these purposes for evening and morning we will use in we will use in in the evening or in the morning next prepositions of time by by is used to show the latest time at which an action will be finished and it is usually used for the it is usually used with the future time okay latest time for latest time at which an action will be finished take for example he will come here by 3 o'clock he will come here by 3 o'clock students he will come here by 3 o'clock 3 o'clock here 3 o'clock means at or before as it indicates the exact time 3 o'clock that means uh, it is at or it may be before next interviews must be completed by 8th february students look at the board there is a date 8th february means uh, here the by is used or we, we can use on on 8th february on or before next you must visit the place by december 2021 2021 December 2021. So in this place, in this place, in this case, we can use a uh, by in or before. We can use by in or before. Next preposition of time for. For is used with a period of time. Take for example, they are living here for six years. they are living here for 6 years so students for is used for a definite period a period of time that is 6 years it rained for 2 hours it rained for 2 hours i had been studying for the last year at our home i have been studying for the last year means for the last year i have been only for the last year only for the last year for means only for the last year i have been studying at our home okay next preposition of time since since is used with a point time in the past from which some action began and continues until the time of speaking take for example they are living here since 2006 since 2000 Six, yes. They are living here since two thousand six. I am teaching since two thousand eight. So students here, I am teaching means my teaching started in two thousand eight and still now it is continuing. Still now it is continuing. That's why since is used a point time in the past from which some action began and continues until that time of speaking. okay i have been studying english since last year but in the uh, uh, previous preposition that is for 
we used i have been studying for the last year means for that particular last year i have been studying but here since is used i have been studying english since last year means since last year i continued my study and till now it is continuing okay next from to or till until from indicates the time when something starts take for example they lived here from 2008 to 2020 means this particular in this particular specific period from 2008 to 2020 they lived here next he works in his office from 9 am to 5 pm so this is the specific time or this time indicates uh, the starting of the time to 5 pm from 9 am to 5 pm next the school opens from 10 am to 4 pm you will have to wait you will have to wait until my return till my return you have to wait the film show continue till 10 pm means up to the maximum time that is 10 pm up to 10 pm the film show continued next preposition of time that is between it separates two different times take for example the office is closed for lunch closed for lunch between 12:30 and 1:30 pm in the preposition of time between if between is used we have to use and and is also used yes and is also used next example you can see the doctor you can see the doctor this between this time this time means uh, from 8 am to 12 noon only in this period you can meet with the doctor next preposition of time that is during during is used to talk about something that happens during the particular period of time particular period of time uh, take for example during the war many people were killed yes while the war it was going on at that time many people were killed we work during the day during the whole day our work work is going on next the fire broke out during the night at the night time at the whole night time the fire broke out okay next on time and in time so students uh, this is very peculiar on time and in time let us know the difference on time is used to mean at the exact or correct time so on time means exact or specific time take for example i want to be at the meeting on time on time means you have to reach there at exact point of time next example the train arrived at the station on time means the train is right time exact time or specific time the train arrived at the station and what is in time in time means earlier than in time means earlier than or before the time before the time you have to reach examples he arrived in time to attend the meeting he arrived he arrived in time to attend the meeting means he is before the time he is before the time i reached the railway station in time so you reached the railway station before the exact time of the train so students this is the difference of on time and in time next so students uh, we all we discussed about prepositions of time now let us go for a test fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions the first question the river near my house is dry dash summer the river near my house is dry in summer so students there is a season yes there is the season for season purpose which preposition will be used yes tell me very good is dry in summer 
is dry in summer. Number two, my birthday is dash fourth May. Yes, this is the specific date. For specific date, we will use the preposition on. The Titanic sank dash 1912. Yes, this is the year 1912. This is the year for year purpose. We will use which preposition? Absolutely right. That is in. Fourth one. My flight takes off. My flight takes off dash 5 25 pm. My flight takes off. So students, this is your the exact time. For exact time or specific time, we will use which preposition? Yes, at. Number five. He has been playing dash two hours. Means he is playing only for two hours for two hours okay next question number six i have been working with him this 2016 yes from sticks 2016 you are working with him so his preposition yes that is since since 2016 okay question number seven the show will probably be over. The show will probably be over this 8 p.m. means by 8 p.m. By 8 p.m. Question number 8. The ambulance arrived just dash to the spot. The ambulance arrived just dash to the spot means the ambulance arrived just on time. on time to the spot question number nine the teacher came to the class just uh, as your class will start at 10 a.m suppose your teacher will come to the class before 10 a.m or we can say at 9 55 then we will say the teacher came to the class yes in time last one i was in delhi days vacations vacations it is it is uh, related to holidays holidays it is a long period so in this long holidays you are in delhi i was in delhi days vacations means during vacations during vacations okay students so this is all about your prepositions of time we discussed today so in our next classes we will discuss the rest part of the preposition chapter okay for today thank you and stay home and be happy bye bye students